But yeah, I mean, I'm getting enough heat from this level. It's quite important for me. Get my heat up. <laughs> Just have to be smart about your timings. Oh, mini. It's making this game look so soft. <laughs> I wonder if I can take these guys all out. Nah, uh, not just yet. No, I can. What venom striker? Well, Val striker. Oh, I still got one more douchebag thing out over here. Okay, and then this room is all finished. Next up, we got another room over there. I'm just like pretty much taking my time cooling. Wait, no, we're pretty much, we already got six. So like, yeah, the slag over, I mean, my my alt is over there just cooling. You know, like we can give him like a little wake up nudge. Just be like, hey, buddy, wake the fuck up. You know, those ones. <laughs> um, how do I want to do it? You know what, screw it, I'll just go in for the. Yeah, I can just go ahead and heal up over here. Hmm. Sometimes, and you can also like shield bump in mid combo. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. It's allowed with this specific sword. You can shield bump mid combo. Like I mean, most of them you can. Like technically, you can with like um all swords. Like I mean, mid combo is in like mid attacks. And the reason why I call it mid combo is because like the DA, all you can do is like one swing and shield cancel slash shield bump at the same time as that cancel. And I mean, like during that shield, I mean during that time period, um, the DA already knocks back the monster too much for the shield cancel to be effective, or the shield bump to be effective. I mean, it'll only be a shield cancel rather than a shield bump, unless something else like jumps in to you and then you end up putting your shield up, you know. But then even then, it'll be more like a shield crash rather than like a shield bump, because like it'll be on your shield, it'll do damage to your shield, and then it'll be pushed off. When the Dread Venom Striker, you can like, you know, like you can go like one, two, three, shield bump, one, two, three, four, shield bump, one, two, shield bump, one, two, three, four, five is a full combo. Okay, so like, I mean, you can like one, two, shield bump, one, two, three, shield bump, like, you know, one, two, shield bump, one, two, three, shield bump, one, two, shield bump, one, two, three, shield bump, one, two, shield. So kind of like thing like that, you know, it's quite useful if you want to like spread some poison around without taking damage, but it just takes longer. You know, like, the Dread Venom Striker does less damage in terms of, like, you know, doing those individual hits. Like, you really want to be using the draw the Vol Striker in terms of combination moves. Like, once you get the poison, you switch out a Vol Striker and use your heavy setting weapon. You know, like, the Vol Striker is just to be agile to fit into combos, you know? At that moment of time where you're not hitting any damage with your main weapon, you hit the damage with your Vol Striker. Like, it's that filler weapon that helps spread status and helps um, spread damage, you know? So that your opponents can't really get a break in terms of being able to heal and being able to set up and stuff in lockdown and in PvE. So um, I'm just gonna continue watering and just like fill things up over here. You guys know how it is already. I got another eternal damn FSC give me a lot of eternals. These guys what are the elites at though I actually need elites, it's funny. Everyone wants radiance not shinings, everyone wants elites not eternals. <laughs> I wish they like switched the roles and like made it like a lot of radiance and a lot of elites now. Like funny thing, Tanuki Eternals aren't supposed to be rare, you know. Like I find them quite often. The thing for me that's kind of rare are the sparks. So now I can go on to this guy. Don't close window. Don't be dumb. LOL. And I can just go around and go ahead and just grab some more crowns. Like here, I think I mailed everything over already like in terms of my previous runs because like every single run I do I mill the crowns over afterwards so like you guys can see here like how much money he'll be making right off of a single level and keep in mind like I never had him here last level I just invited him this level so like yeah he, he's kind of limited in what he made but like he can be left for depth 26 and depth 27 and look at the rest of the run meaning that he's guaranteed to be making another 6 to 7k easily 
at least need another 7 kings. The first level will make 1.2k if you complete it. Like Ashen Armory, I mean, not Ashen Armory, um, freaking Blackstone Bridge Death 24. You only get like 1.2k for that, really. So, yeah, like I'm just gonna go ahead. Um, did I even. I don't even think I looted the rooms up top, did I? What the fuck? I think I just went straight around in a beeline. Wait, oh no, I did. I did, yeah. That short term memory loss, though. <laughs> Alzheimer's be like. Okay. Let's go around, grab all this loot. So, you guys have just seen the real time counter. I mean, it's nothing impressive right now. But if you guys think of it, keep in mind also that every single time you bring this guy to Vanaduke, you're getting 3 Almerian seals. 3 Almerian seals is technically 3k extra because, you know, you can trade in 30 Almerian seals for an ancient plate item. And you can vendor that ancient plate five star item to Brinks or any, I mean, not to Brinks, to um, one of the vendors in the bazaar, and you can get 30k for it. So, if you think about it, that's technically 60k. If you bring him along with you every single time you do Vanaduke, and he gets the same amount of 30, and you get the same 30 at the same time, then it's like, okay, boom. You guys are all profiting. You know what I mean? You're making 30k on your main, you're making 30k on your outs. Like, it's looking beautiful. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the money from here. You know what, this is pretty much like an additional 2k from this level, guys. You know? It's quite, it's quite nice. Like, this is just one level. Keep in mind, it's just one level. You know, once I start doing the other levels, it'll be more, of course. But you guys get the idea. I'm not gonna, like, continue showing this. Because, like, you guys are gonna understand. Like, you guys understand the whole point of this. Is like, to show you guys how to do it. So, like, pretty much the point is, once you guys have Steam, or, like, you know, 1SK client, um, that you're able to use, then you pretty much use the other versions. Like, if you have an SK account that's built in just SK, then you download Steam and you make a Steam SK account, where you can make your main from SK onto Steam by converting it over and then making a new regular account using the browser. Okay, and then from there, you simply install Steam and you do the Steam variant and you open up Steam's SK and then you open up the regular SK and you log in at the same time. You can invite yourself at the same party, anchor yourself in heat and stuff. You can also leave the guy idle and grab the crowns afterwards. It's quite helpful, it's quite helpful. I personally enjoy it. You know, I feel like it's worth it in terms of like the payout and like what you're having to do in terms of the work. Like it's not that much work. It's really just you collecting everything afterwards, you know? The minis over there like, boy shut the fuck up, you're talking too loud. But yeah guys, like honestly it's a lot of fun kind of when you just see all the 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 pretty much all the profit that you guys made like this is 2k extra just by simply leaving and lingering around guys think about it every let's say i do 10 fsc's for two for just one level that's 20k extra think about it that's four levels there's four levels in this world each of them you're making 2k pretty much so like you make 8k a run so we're 8k a run so like it's safe to say that like every 10 runs you're making 80k plus you get three tokens a run so don't forget that three tokens you're making additional 30k so you're making 110k for every 10 runs guys extra so you're making 210k per 10 runs think about it guys 210k per 10 runs okay so now if you guys want to make a mill all you guys gotta do is 50 runs 210k that gives you 1.1 mil 50 runs is 1.1 mil guys think about it 50 vanaduke runs is 1.1 million crowns and how easy is it to do 50 vanaduke runs well let's see we can pretty much do FSC in like 12 to like 15 minutes in a duo. That's when the other person is contributing. When you're soloing a store, you gotta do each room individually. So I can say generally 20 minutes. Like be nice and like give like the average person 20 minutes to finish a full FSC. They can do it. So like with that being said, guys, 20 minutes per run, 20 times 50. You're pretty much looking at 1,000. No, yeah, 1,000. So, with that being said, 1,000 minutes um, divided by 60. You're looking at 16 hours. So, you guys can make 1.1 mil in literally one day. Like, I played SK for 16.6 hours a day before. I played SK for 20 hours a day before. I won't even lie. And I had like 4 hours of sleep because like, I was freaking addicted to it back in the day. I know. I know those days, so I mean, it's quite it's quite possible, guys, to make 1.1 mil in one day just by spamming FSC. It's not impossible. This is why I say, guys, like, those people who say they make 850k in FSC in three days, I'm like, yeah, I believe you. I can make that shit. I can make more than you in one day. 
I can make I can make 1.1 mil guys in one day just by doing this that's what I'm trying to tell you guys like it's not a joke like this is not a joke bro if I would have grind FSC non-stop bro think about it if I do this 50 runs a day 1.1 mil a day multiply that like for the straight week bro and just grind FSC all week long guys 7.7 .7 mil in one week bro seven days straight bro even five days be generous give yourself a weekend bro 5.5 .5 mil bro like, is that a laughing matter? Just by dedicating yourself to doing FSC, like, I'm pretty sure you'll get bored of it, but 7.7 .7 mil at the end of it, like, bro, you'll be there laughing, like, people are gonna be like, dude, how much van have you been doing? And be like, bro, I don't even know. All I know is I got freaking seven digits of crowns, like, <laughs> you know? So, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I shall see you guys in the next video. And by the way, this was how to use your out to your best advantage. Like, pretty much that's what this is. Like, how to use your out to the best advantage. Helping you heat without relying on other people. Helping you make money. You know, things like that. Making SK work for you. Peace out, YouTubers.